Hello everyone, I am Nikhil and I am bringing to you a different video this time. It's a mnemonic on how to remember the causes of bullseye maculopathy. So macula is the central area of retina measuring about 5.5 mm in diameter and is responsible for central sharp high acuity vision. This is the normal appearance of macula. And in some conditions, the macula appears like bullseye. Causes for this appearance in adults include chloroquine and hydroxychloroquine toxicity, clofazamine retinopathy, advanced Stargardt disease, benign concentric macular dystrophy, fenestrated sheen macular dystrophy, cone and cone rod dystrophy, and chronic macular hole. In children, the causes include barded beetle syndrome, haloverdens part syndrome, lipofistinosis, and olivopontocerebellar atrophy. So how do we remember these causes? For causes in adults, you need to have visual memory of a girl named Queen sitting on a sofa and watching stars and moon through this fenestrated window using her conical or rod-like telescope peeping through its hole. So there is a girl named Queen sitting on sofa watching stars and moon through a fenestrated window using conical or rod-like telescope through its hole. Queen stands for chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine toxicity, so far for clofazimine toxicity, stars for star guard disease, moon is a concentric annular structure, so it stands for benign concentric annular macular dystrophy, fenestrated window for fenestrated sheen macular dystrophy, cone or rod-like telescope for cone and cone rod dystrophy and hole for chronic macular hole. For causes in children, visualize her sister Barbie sitting in a hall eating her burger which is full of lipids and olives. Note that patients with barded Biddle syndrome are usually obese and that's why she likes to eat. So Barbie stands for barded Biddle syndrome, hall for Hallowardens Pat syndrome. Lipids for lipofistinosis and olives for olivopontocerebellar atrophy. To summarize, these are the causes of bullseye maculopathy in adults and children. Visual mnemonic you can use to remember them. Hope you find the mnemonic useful. Thank you. And now, just for some fun. मन ना दिखे जुड़ियाँ क्या? मन है तो सांड की आँख दिखे? क्यों जीजी? क्या कहूँ मैं अंग्रेजी में? Bulls, I.